Finance Watch is a non-profit association dedicated to reforming financial regulation in the interest of citizens. Our work covers many key topics, including sustainable finance, public finance, stability and supervision, digital finance, and retail and financial inclusion, which is the focus of this video. We believe that access to certain essential basic financial services is a prerequisite for social inclusion, a decent standard of living, and protection against unexpected life events. In addition, it is crucial that consumers of financial services are treated fairly and are protected from malpractices by firms that can cause them financial harm. The reality is that today, many vulnerable people across Europe cannot access the financial services they need, and there is a lack of adequate consumer protection in the retail financial services market. We want to change that. Through our retail and financial inclusion workstream, we are dedicated to bridging the gap to financial inclusion and helping to shape a financial system that is safe, fair, and empowers people. This is no small task, but by breaking the problem down into its component parts, we are able to identify where small changes to EU rules can make a big difference. Let's take an example, shall we? In 2023, the EU revised the Consumer Credit Directive. The goal of the Consumer Credit Directive is to make the EU consumer credit market safe by, for example, requiring responsible lending practices by firms and helping you make an informed choice if you sign up to a credit agreement. Throughout the review process, Finance Watch, alongside our members and allies, met with EU policymakers to explain why the rules urgently needed to be changed and better adapted to our digital age. We presented members of the European Parliament, financial attachés from EU member states, and officials from the European Commission with real-world examples of where the rules fall short and urged them to use their political capital to protect consumers. And they did. While it's not perfect, the new Consumer Credit Directive better reflects our digital world, with clear rules for buy-now-pay-later schemes, for example. It clarifies the data that creditors are not allowed to use when assessing a person's creditworthiness, such as information on their ethnic origin, political beliefs, health data, or social media data. In addition, the new rules better help existing borrowers struggling to repay their loans. So the revised Consumer Credit Directive is a significant step forward, but there is a long road ahead. In 2024, Finance Watch will be working on the Open Finance Framework, the Payment Accounts Directive, the Digital Fairness Check in EU Consumer Protection Legislation, and the Mortgage Credit Directive. With concrete examples and compelling arguments, we will advocate in the interest of citizens to ensure that as with the Consumer Credit Directive, these pieces of legislation help break down barriers to financial inclusion and help make the financial services market safer and fairer for consumers. And we'll do all this in a changing political climate, with the European elections taking place in early June. To succeed, we need your support. Brussels is notorious for acronyms, jargon, and bureaucracy. To cut through the noise, we need to hear from those on the ground across EU member states who see time and time again how EU rules impact daily life. This is where our working group meetings come in. Finance Watch working group meetings are an opportunity to hear from our members across Europe about the real world challenges facing citizens and to hear from our in-house experts about what financial regulation and legislation is currently on the table at European level. All Finance Watch members are welcome at our Financial Inclusion Working Group meetings, which take place multiple times throughout the year. If you miss one, don't worry, just tag along to the next. 
that's not all. Finance Watch members can also provide inputs for our upcoming reports, contribute to important conversations on our members hub, and share news via our regular members newsletter. Want to dive even deeper into the topic of retail and financial inclusion and sign up to our working group? Reach out to Peter Norwood, our Senior Research and Advocacy Officer for Retail and Financial Inclusion. He's looking forward to hearing from you.